Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> yeah, I usually, I always carry the comb with me, but I kind of save that for actually like, you know, mid shift to make like full theatrical impact. I and my business partner Scott have kind of made the transition towards focusing on our, on our business of ambivance. My partner, Josh Harris, he's an extraordinary human being and he's a bartender. Well, the day is interesting, so I wake up in the morning by going to the office, deal with all that like East Coast stuff that has come in before I've woken up and do the email thing. At 7 a.m. I got up and I'm teaching a, a component of a gin seminar tomorrow. I raced across town, came to the office and uh, got the knife out and started to prep. I opened the bar there at 7. 5.30, I get in there, kind of take my time, do everything the right way, break down an ice block, go get a coffee. I'm making five different syrups, so it's about technique, it's about doing things right. You can take two things that you would never think go together and find a way to make them work together. It's so funny because literally every time I walk in there like a zombie and I put my iPod on and I'm like a very, like the music thing is really important for me and like within an hour, I'm just like, yes, bring it. I'm pretty easy about it. I change whatever shirt I've got on and I go and see my friends who are bartenders. And the first drink gives me instant goosebumps, like the first sip. And it's almost a, it's a moment of, of excitement and fear a little bit. It's kind of all of it put together because I'm never sure where that evening is going to go. I could go anywhere. By the end of the night, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and the whole place is like belting out Hall & Oates lyrics and like we're all having a great time and you know that's why I go to work. And that's why I still love bartending. <laughs>